Good morning and welcome to today's class. I made the um, self-love, compassionate self-love, mostly like lots of loving, being very good with ourselves. So this is today's uh, class. It'll be about 60 minutes long. And um, so we have a nice theme today. And I would like you to pay attention to your body. Uh, be loving towards yourself as if you were observing a young child. You don't want that young child to get hurt. You're going to do the same with you. You're going to be very mindful of your body. If it does not feel good, we do not do it, right? So let's start. This is nice. And um, let's start with a big hug, a big self hug. So good morning. <laughs> Good morning, and let's start. Inhale up, exhale your arms forward towards me, and then big kumbaya hug. One of those kumbaya hug. If you seen my, uh, if you seen my um, preview video, uh, that's one of the things we did. You'll recognize a few things. The preview, I believe, was like six minutes of this class I filmed yesterday or the day before. So little little circle, nice side, and back in zombie N, and let's switch the other side. Little baby circle, if it feels good to you. Of course, everything I say in the class are suggestions. You have to go with your own body here and how you feel. And exhale the arms down. Now let's do our art mudra. And this is optional also. You can always put your hands together. So let's put our nails together and then bring our thumb under to make an art. Okay? So we can play with that today. Again, you can do anything else. No, not that. Something else. <laughs> you do what you want, really. So let's inhale our arms up. Catch a little love and exhale to your heart. Inhale and continue exhaling back. I was going to clean up my mats in the back and one fell down, so we'll, we'll still be there, right? Now let's do our peace circle of breath. So something I wrote. Inhale part way. Exhale, just like the peace love sign. Picture, picture a circle going all around. Exhale, shoulder down. Take as many breaths as you need between the breath cues. Inhale, back up. Catch a little love and exhale your art or whichever mudra you made on that one. On your heart. Relax. Inhale and keep exhaling again. So this is your your peace side love, peace side peace love sign. Big circle, the little bar in between, the little arms. So inhale the arms part way. Exhale the shoulder down. Maybe open a little bit. Inhaling the arms up. Catch your heart and exhale back center. Inhale, relax the head, and exhale all the way down. And continue, bring your heart to the ground. Just drop it there and stay down in forward fold, Uttanasana. Just hang there, bend your knees as much as you wish. Neck is very relaxed, so maybe a little baby circle with the, with the head. The arms are very relaxed. Feel free to bring them to the opposite elbow if you want to weight yourself a little more. Or bring them behind your legs too if that's where you want them. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, back down. Bring your bums to the ground and plant your sit bone right on your mat. Just take a comfortable seat here. We're going to continue to add a little bit more. The, the neck is an extension of our spine and it's so important to be mindful to make sure the head is, is relaxed and not tense. So hey Yogito! 
you wouldn't miss a class, right? <laughs> so let's inhale our nose up to the sky and exhale down towards your chest. The chin does, my chin does not touch my chest and I'm not gonna force it there. And I'm sure it could with a little force, but we don't do that. Inhale up and also make sure you don't roll back too far. Maybe putting your fingertip at the base of your skull. So go with your own breath, exhaling the chin down, inhaling it back up. And center. Exhale one ear towards the shoulder. Maybe look up a little bit. Inhale, center. The other side. Exhale, ear towards shoulder. Maybe looking up. Yes, Yogi Do. Inhale, center. Just just little baby movement here, maybe rolling your shoulder, shrugging, very slow little shoulder and neck movement, whatever feels nice. Maybe another kumbaya hug if it feels good to you. And let's get on our back. So you can go down any way you want. You can hold to a couch, go any way you wish, or you can just Inhale some length and exhale curve. We want to curve that back first and just roll down. Maybe using your hands, maybe not. And just open up here. Inhaling your fingertip overhead and yawning your heels away from you. Reach, reach, big yawn. Exhale, relax everything down. So again, Inhale through your fingertip, through your heel, maybe reaching from one side. Maybe your left foot and your right foot both reach away at the same time. And then the other side. Letting our spine do that little C-curve to the side, very small C-curve here. Exhale, knee to the chest. Nice hug. Yogi Do. Yes, I love you too. Yes, little little circle maybe on the sacrum. Rotating the hips. Rotating the hips in a little circle. My neck is up, but we know why. But your neck can be down. If I bring my neck down, we know under what it's gonna be. So I'm gonna wait a little bit, but put your head put your shoulders down and your head down. Here we go. We have to accommodate, accommodate our friends sometimes. Here we go. Now center. Exhale. Just, just release everything down again. One more time. Ah, relax. Take a breath here. And then let's roll. When you're ready, just roll to your side. Maybe lifting the the outer leg and pushing on the foot and just rolling to your tummy. Once on your tummy, put your put your elbows down and place them right under your, your shoulder. Your hands are gonna be forward and parallel with each other if possible. So we're in sphinx position. So you can relax here a little bit, but we're gonna inhale our head away from our shoulder and our shoulder away from our ear. So inhale, so bring your shoulder back and reach through the crown of your head, maybe lifting the chest just a little bit. Exhale, just relax the lower spine, maybe lowering yourself down a little if it feels nice. Now very, very gently inhale, Push into your arms and your hands and exhale. Look towards your foot. You don't have to see it. Just look towards your foot. Look back a little bit. Lift. Let the hip lift up. That hip wants to lift. Let it lift. Look. And inhale forward. Exhale. Other side. Look towards your foot. Not towards the cat, right? Inhale back forward. Let's round our back a little bit here. Wouldn't that feel good? So keeping our arms in sphinx just the way it is. Let's inhale one foot 
up and exhale the other foot up. So we're landing like in the child pose with our arms in sphinx. And while we're there, inhale and exhale your head down. So this is like a, a, a child, a child sphinx. So though they can't see when you do that. Yes, I love you too. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, it is sphinx. I know it's one of your, he likes doing that one too. So like a child sphinx and just rest everything rest everything and let's turn back into our back here so first we're gonna go back in our sphinx we're gonna roll today just a couple of times and then let's see the way you rolled out let's roll the other way this time so just roll whichever way it would feel nice we're just rolling those are motions we don't do often except when in bed when we get in bed and come out of bed. So it's not a lot. <coughs> and adding a little bit there uh, can be nice. And now let's bring our heels towards our bum. Maybe if distance apart here. A little bone, a little bone that's sticking out up front. That's your hip lamp. And shoulders are relaxed, but send your fingertips towards your heel exhaling the shoulder down make sure your neck is very relaxed we're going to windshield wiper our leg so they're going to be in, mo in motion and if you really it feels really delicious in one spot just stay there my goodness enjoy it and catch back after or just skip some and or pause the video you can always pause you can rewind you can uh, after so let's windshield wipe through our leg and just exhale them down one side inhale center exhale other side now match don't match your movement don't match your breath to your movement match your movement to your breath otherwise if you want to move different just breathe normal that's all good just loosening and now let's roll back again let's first to our side so push in one foot turn to your tummy back in sphinx yes so yogito i love you move towards my feet go see what's there okay so arms back in sphinx with the with the elbow under the under the uh, shoulders yes thank you <laughs> now let's tuck our toes and you can stay just the way you are right now or you can inhale your hips and your knees up a little bit so pretty much you're sanding your thighs up press your thighs up neck is relaxed so quick check in your neck see if you can make like little circle movement and you're comfortable now smile 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 and if your smile is more of a grimace you feel it's not like really smiling maybe you're, you're forcing too much i like i like looking at students face more of more their face than their body so i can see if they're struggling with something maybe i left them there too long and i'm talking you know me so <laughs> let's do that again inhale just press your thighs up keep your back fairly straight here Keep pressing in your arm to get your head out of there. Make sure the neck and the head is relaxed. Now, send your belly button right up to your spine. Yes, I love you too. And exhale your hips. Your hips down, untucking your toes. Slide your hand, lower your chest to the ground. Slide your hand under your shoulders. Tuck in your elbow so that your arms are parallel with each other and inhale up for baby cobra we're not going all the way up just a little baby cobra here looking around yep now send your hand forward come back up tuck your toe bring your bum up press in your hand and down dog so i'm stepping forward here to get in my down dog but however you land it, just adjust and come back in your down dog or come to your fourth in table 
Bring your hands forward, tuck your toes, down, down. Now let's check our length. Let's go in a little plank, adjust, press, and back and down, down. Rotating the, the, um, the forearm towards each other so that the nook of the elbows are facing each other as much as possible here. I have one arm that doesn't move as much as the other. Neck is relaxed. Very relaxed. If you tend to just stare at your feet, maybe move your nose forward once in a while. Yes, Yogito, we love you. Bend your knee. Up or walk to the front of your mat. And big inhale, reverse one dive. Come back up, baby back bend. Catch a little love. Exhale, hands towards your heart. Now you can stay where you are. I'm moving in the center of the mat so you can see me. We're gonna do a little flow standing up. So place yourself, if you want to be near a wall or a chair, a couch, you know, you have to take care of yourself. So let's be very mindful, very loving towards each other. And let's put our feet in Tadasana. So just walk and stop. Maybe bringing them a little bit bigger if you need more balance. And let's send our big toe in just a little bit. Okay. Belly button towards the spine. Now lower that tailbone just a little bit. Just ease up there. Don't be so, so rigid that you stress. You want everything to be relaxed. Now inhale your toes up. Reach for your roots. Pretend there's roots coming right out from under your feet. Feel the points of contact your feet are making with the ground. Picture those roots like growing. Now claw with your little branch of a toes. Just claw the ground. That should make like a little suction cup like when we do for the, uh, the ends. I'll do a video just on that, on the suction cup. It's interesting and it works. So you've got your feet, you've got your roots. Now we want the base to be stable before we move around. So let's engage our legs and Press them towards each other. Little muscular engagement here. And bend your knees and give it a little bounce. We're gonna move this. Inhale the arm up. Catch your heart. Down to your chest. Exhale. This is one of the parts and send the love that we did in the preview. Inhale back up. Exhale, send the love. Big circle with your arm. I may have done it a little different when uh, in the preview, but it's basically the same thing. Inhale, send the love. You can exhale it out if you, that's what feels better. Inhale the heart, exhale it out. So back in Tadasana. So let's reach from under, grab our heart. Now turn the hip a little bit to the side and on the opposite direction we're going to exhale that heart. As we bring the arm back down and they're half weight, the hips are now centered, bring the arm back down. I'm just going slow motion here. Grab the heart, bring it up and now send your hip to the other side and exhale arts all over lots of people needs it everything needs it let's add a little more to it uh, when we send our art we're gonna send some a little bit towards the back so there'll be a little twist that's gonna originate from the lower spine so catch your art inhale that up send your hip one side and exhale maybe Sending a little more towards, towards the back. Big circle. Inhale, back forward. Catch your little heart. Exhale, everything's relaxed here. Have the bounce in the feet, in the leg if it feels fun. Inhale up. Heart comes up. Send your hip to the side and let's send lots of love. And maybe a little towards the back too. Keep going with the heart. Inhale one side, send your hips 
say exhale lots of love fill back to if it feels good other side and center arms to the side little shoulder roll again if it feels nice now inhale your arms up tiptoe catch your heart exhale with sullen tiptoe send your hips to the side send your heart a little back to and exhale heel down arms down inhale heel up that's an option little heart comes up to the other side lots of balance maybe you want to skip sending it back maybe you want to continue the mat is nearby and again inhale toes up little heart comes up exhale hip to the side send the love around other side exhale and center now let's do a sun salutation maybe two sun salutations i won't give too much cueing you can always refer to my sun salutation uh, video if you need the breakdown so that's coming up soon but i've got a lot of breakdown in other video so today we're just gonna do it so if you never did this before just do the best you can be very mindful of your body if you're not sure just skip it for now so grow your roots engage your legs towards each other a little bounce it's coming back inhale arm up catch your heart again sure exhale it down towards your feet your feet needs love too huh especially in yoga or anytime that's supporting us and let's just relax here relax the head relax the arm lower back neck inhale flat back elbows are in exhale plant your hand inhale one foot back exhale the other foot back option to chaturanga to cobra tuck your toes on your neck on your neck Exhale, press in your hands, down cat, yes, Toto, down cat, down dog, but Yogi Tola, he doesn't like that word. Bend your knee, jump, or walk to the front of your mat. Place your feet, whichever, you can go in traditional Tadasana with your big toe touching if that's what you want. Press in your feet inhale big inhale baby back bend catch a little love and exhale it back down inhale flat back exhale plant your hand inhale one foot back exhale the other foot back press in your hand on your next exhale down dog or down cat And yes, you're doing down cat. You're doing a real great down cat. Now that's my uh, laid back cat, right? Bend your knees, jump or walk to the front of your mat. And big reverse one dive. We're just gonna inhale our fingers up, up, standing up, pressing in our feet. Get some love again, give it to yourself. Always love yourself first. If you feel love, you won't have any problem sharing and multiplying it, you know? So, let's exhale back in. I move to talk to you, but you stay right where you are. Inhale, your arm up. Exhale, fingertips down. So you're in forward fold. Bend your bum. Get into your knees and in. And just sand your hip back towards your heel child pose so exhale favorite child pose make a little bed if you want for your little little pillow like for your forehead all right so two. your arm can be in the front and the back put your arm where it's comfy for you and just breathe relax Allow yourself just 
to be. Just tell yourself how much you love you and you need that break. And you press into your leg. Press your leg right into your mat and allow the movement to round your lower back and bring you back up. Here we go. Now let's Inhale tall, exhale your hands forward, inhale relax, exhale down dog, inhale press in your hand, exhale bring your feet towards your hand, inhale come back up pressing in the feet, catch a little bit of love here again. Exhale towards your chest and exhale your bum straight back. Check your feet. Are they in Tadasana feet? Little mountain pose feet? Mine are almost traditional Tadasana. That's how they landed. So here we are in chair. Now inhale your chest up. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to curve that lower tailbone just a little bit. Doesn't that feel much better, right? And if it doesn't, we don't do it. So be comfy here. Just stay there, just stay there. Press in your feet, inhale yourself up. Exhale, send the love. I'm going to go the other side just because my neck from staring at you one way, you know. So, but you can stay where you are if you want. And let's do that again. So, let's catch your little heart. Place your feet in Tadasana. Grow your roots, engage your legs. See if it makes a difference. Inhale tall, exhale your bum back. Chest is still lifted. So we're like about to sit in that chair there. When you sit in the chair, you don't move down, but you're like, you sit in the chair forward. The only thing you really have to be careful here is for your knee not to pass your big toe. So a lot of your weight's gonna be on your heel. So that's normal. That works really the tush real nice doing this. Can you feel it right here? And inhale, press in your feet. Come back up. Now this is where you can use your wall. You can use a chair. If you need a little balance, we're going to do a little series of, uh, of a tree. It's a little tree flow with soft love. And I'm going to do it on this end, I think. I can't... Um, Lokito wants to demonstrate from, this is like to him, it's demonstrating a tree that fell down the ground. It's still moving from the wind, but this is Yogito's demonstration now. Let's do mine with my little flow. So we're not going to move. We're going to be pretty much uh, staying in place. So you can have a chair or one on each side if you don't want to, to turn around and switch. But you always have the option to keep your toes down. So let's just inhale one heel up. Bring all your weight into your other leg. Now inhale that knee out a little bit. And maybe staying just like that. Or maybe bringing the foot up a little bit and putting it below the knee. Or keeping it down or changing our mind back and forth and it's like all good you go where you want to go do what you want to do right so you don't force anything so again we're gonna send this leg the standing leg we have roots and it's still engaging towards the other leg now let's try that again with that leg rooted and engaged let's see now that foot up and maybe plant it and really engage the foot towards the leg the leg towards the foot and press and you can always drop the toes so we can go a little higher maybe going above the knee here we go and if your pants are like you those nylons and it's slight just bring your foot over like this and that all works so pick your favorite favorite tree pose pick one then catch your little art, and we're going to share that again. We're going to inhale and exhale, love, to one side. Now, let's catch it. 
and send it to the other side. And let's bring back our hands to our side and exhale that foot down. Other side. Again, bend the knee, open the hip, maybe inhaling the foot up to the calf, maybe up to your thigh, wherever you choose, you can take your art and grab, grab your art with your branch and send your branch out and multiply that love one side. And maybe skip the arm if it's a little too much. I'm about to fall here and it's okay. My foot is sliding and all kind of little thing, but that's okay. It adds to the fun. It adds the challenge. Once you get that wobbling, your body is trying to regulate and stabilize, stabilizer like in the cruise ship. Pow, it comes right out, you know, and it's trying to stabilize it. And it's very good. It's making this balance work. So just, just keep trying and have a few. If it, make, if it makes you a little nervous, hold, hold that chair, hold that chair, hold that wall, maybe letting go, maybe never letting go or just keep your foot on the ground. You're still, you're there, you're on your mat, you're doing something. And doing this is way more than just laying there, right? So this is all good. So let's repeat that one more time. Each side. So inhale your foot, your heel up, open up and exhale it wherever you want it to be. Engage your legs together. And maybe grow your branch, sending love and sharing all the love we have for ourselves. Maybe sending some out so it grows even more. Exhale everything down. Other side. Inhale, favorite position. Knee up. Bring the foot up where you want it to be. Little art mudra. Grow your branch. Send some out and back down. Relax the hips. Big inhale up. Exhale forward fold. Uttanasana. Just hang there. Relax. Make sure your neck is very relaxed. Do a little yes, no, maybe. Arms are relaxed. Maybe bending the knees if you wish. If you need to shift your weight side to side, feel free. You can weight your, put your hand on the opposite elbow and gentle, gentle little sway if it feels nice for you. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Bend, bend your knee. Look up at me. Send your bum back. Inhale back into chair. Take your belly button now and send it straight towards your 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 spine and your legs are engaged. Chair. And if you want, you can add baby little side, little side. Inhale, love. Exhale it to the sides. Let's see who didn't get any. Maybe turning just a little bit in there. Trying to keep our legs parallel with each other if possible. Exhale back down. Inhale right straight back up. Big swan dive. Exhaling down. Inhale flat back. Elbows towards the hip. Exhale bend the knee and lift the chest. Tuck in your little tailbone just a little bit. Make sure your knee are not passing your toes. A lot of your weight's gonna be on your heel. Again, nice for the tush. Engage your leg. You can leave your arms there. You can put them there. Or involve them a little bit. Maybe looking around. Move your neck. Make sure it's relaxed. Exhale the arm down. Push into your feet and slow, 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 come back up. Engage your leg very slow. Here we are. Inhale back up. Exhale, forward fold, catch the ground. Come on your knees and hands for table. 
wrist under the shoulders, knees under the hip. Inhale, one arm to the side. Exhale, tread the needle. Very gently coming down. You can put a pillow here in the middle if you want. If it doesn't go in, just stay like that. So make sure it feels nice. You can bring your, the side of your head to the ground if you want. And just tread your needle, maybe with each chinel reaching, with each exhale pressing in the standing end, but very gentle, loving movement, always, always. Inhale, press in your hand, plant your hand down, other side. Inhale, the arm out. Exhale, tread the needle. Bend your ear towards the ground. Yo, yo, gito, yo, gito. Yo, gito. I love you too, yo, gito. Yes, I love you too. Press in your hand. Inhale back up to your fore. Exhale your bum back down. Child pose. So, little pillow if you want. Little unicorn. One fist over the other. Maybe just one. Maybe the forehead wants to go on the mat. Your arms are wherever it's relaxed for you. This is your little break, so make your body comfortable. So child pose, or yes, kitten pose, kitten pose. Inhale. Press, press in your thighs, press your thighs down, and inhale your shoulder up. A little movement side to side here. Now, next inhale, send your arm, your hand forward. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, one foot up, bend the knee. Exhale, knee to nose, drop the foot down, slide the back foot. And so sorry to yogito and so the, the thigh touch the ground or it's close to the ground maybe in tucking the the back toe so we're in pigeon you can take your foot if you want and gently lovingly lovingly bring it a little forward if it feels good to you and on your next C nail maybe bring the back heel up a little bit maybe not wrist under the shoulders Inhale, tall through the crown of the head. Exhale, heel towards the bum. Maybe reaching back with the same side end. Maybe reaching back with the other side. See what works for you. Maybe reaching, pressing in the front foot with both hands. So take whichever fit nice. Don't stay there too long. Exhale, the hips back down. Ah, just breathe. Let's replace our wrist under the shoulder. Tuck your toes, press in your hands, bring the foot back, back and down dog. Feel free to walk your dog here. A little bit in between. Hey, we're getting this on. Inhale the other foot up. Bend, bend the knee. Lift the thigh up. Exhale the knee forward. Core is very tight. Slide, press the knee down, leg down, and slide your foot gently back. Little pigeon here. So you can stay just like that, or you can go in king, in king pigeon with me. So just, if you want, just exhale the heel up. Go slow, slow, slow. Yes, I don't know. Maybe it's rough on the knee. You may want to fold the mat. So try it. Make sure your wrists are under your shoulders. And let's see. Inhale. Exhale the arm back. I'm trying it with the same side. See how it feels. Maybe looking around, make sure your neck is very relaxed. And then there's two things you can do. You can press the heel towards your bum gently for a nice quad stretch. Or you can push your foot in your into your resisting hand to open the chest, the shoulder. 
So go gentle. Maybe go with the other end. See if it's easier, better, maybe feels nicer, more challenging, whatever you're looking for right now at this moment. Maybe try with both hands. So lots of balance here. Woo! Woo! Okay. Let's see. I'm going to adjust my feet a little bit. It's not going to want to go this side. So I'm going to leave it alone. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe never. But it's okay. This side don't want to cooperate today. Like, okay. Let's exhale. Let's put back down. Now press in your hand. Lift around the upper back. Tuck your back toes. Press up your back knee up. And on your neck, next exhale, back and down dog. Now walk your dog. Walk. Now start exhaling your toes towards your hand. Keeping your hands flat on the ground. Bring them maybe, you know, until you're, you're in monkey, until you can't go anymore without having to lift your palm up you don't want to lift them yet so neck is relaxed inhale them back and yes you breathe in between of course take as many breaths as you want if your breath don't match mine use your own breath back in non dog and exhale bend the knee and start walking forward you need extra breath take them and inhale back. And down dog. Let's bend the knee. Exhale, walk or up to the front of your mat. Big reverse one dive on your next inhale. Press in your feet, engage your legs and bring your finger overhead. Little back bend. Maybe looking around. a little love while you're up here. I'm just moving so you can see me. Legs in Tadasana. Exhale. Send the love to the side. Inhale back up. Send the love to the side. Inhale back up. Catch more. Exhale to your heart. Peace, love, sign. Exhale. Arms down. Inhale. Heart way. Exhale. The shoulder down. Inhale, the arms up. Maybe a little back bend. Catch a little self-love. Exhale it. Give it to yourself first. Then exhale it for everybody else. All the surplus. Share the love. So bend your knees as much as you need. Just flow that at, the, at your speed. Little shoulder roll, big inhale up, exhale, and to the heart. It can be your heart mudra, any mudra, not that mudra. Exhale, belly button to the spine. Bring your bum towards the ground. And let's just sit, stretching one leg over, and then the other leg is still fold it. Make sure your back is straight. So if your back is round, maybe sliding the foot forward a little bit. See if it brings your back a little straighter. See? So adjust that. And wherever, uh, wherever your, your foot is, you can leave it just like that. Or you can just grab it, inhale it, and put it on the other side of the thigh. Try to keep the knee going towards the opposite way. So see how that feels. If that's not too good, put it there. It has to feel nice. Toes of the extended legs are facing straight up. Inhale, fingertip up. Catch a little arc. Exhale, bend your elbow from the lower spine. We're going to turn towards the back of the upper leg. And bring your little arc down. So my elbows, my back of my arm actually, is touching my upper thigh and gently pressing to keep that thigh going back. My other hand's gonna let go my heart, divide it and spread the love back, bracing myself just so I can keep my back straight. So you can inhale up, 
exhale a little more in your twist so with each inhale adding a little length with each exhale going maybe a little bit deeper in your twist maybe you're where you want to be so stay put maybe you want to come out a little bit out of it so work with your own body so you can look away or look at the beautiful sun it's good timing if it had came sooner i wouldn't have been to, able to see you by now and exhale relax everything gently turn back and let's go see what's on the other side bring your arm around so this is going to be a little different it's not going to have the same intensity but it's nice to explore what's going on on that other side why aren't we going there we always go there so let's go check just bring your arm in inhale some length and exhale let's turn our let's turn our lower spine all the way up to our shoulder and see what's behind us see what's there So may you may feel this different. Maybe it's a little more intense or less for you. Exhale back. Place your feet. That foot, just take it lovingly, gently. And let's relax it along the mat, bending the other knee. Give it a little hug while it's there if it feels nice. Maybe rounding your back a little bit, you know? Keeping it straight too long. You will just a little rounding feels good nice slide your toe forward if you need to to stay keep your back straight now you have that option to take the foot and put it on the other side yes you can you can bend your knee you can bend your knee if you want all the time all the time you can bend your knee you should always have micro bend in your in your joints anyway your arms your your uh, knee so let's inhale our fingertips up and exhale. Twist starts at the base of the spine, turning towards the upper leg. And maybe planting one end back for support and the other one braced behind the, behind the thigh. Looking away maybe, inhale up a little length. Yes, Yogi Do. I don't like not looking at you and looking opposite. That's why I'm looking there, but the gaze should be, should be, if it's comfortable on the neck, should be uh, away. You're just if you want to add a little bit to this. Exhale, relax everything, round the back, relax everything. Gently come back out of it. Let's check what's on the other side. Maybe you want to inhale your fingertips up first. Catch a little love. Exhale, turn around. Exhale the arms down, arms come around, inhale a little length here, inhaling a little length, exhaling into your twist, and inhale back up, did we go both sides, yeah we did exhale our hands down see with student they tell you <laughs> like this i don't know so let's take gently our foot bring it alongside the other plant your hands under your hip so adjust yourself here we're gonna go on our back if you if you need a little blanket or something or or a little pillow like use use some towards the end of a class like that of course so inhale tall and exhale back, bringing your heels closer to your bum, fingertip to the side. Make sure your neck, oh, all my mats are falling down. I was going to clean them after class. If you haven't seen my little uh, how to clean a mat uh, video, uh, I just show what I use, my little homemade, uh, my little homemade uh, concoction to clean my mats. And... Uh, but I haven't done so yet, so I have done the, the, the video, but not cleaning the mats, but that's okay. So let's inhale our fingertips away towards our heels, like away from our shoulder. Then exhale your arms down, neck, and go gently side to side. Now let's bring your chin a little bit 
closer to your chest. Make sure you, you're laying on the back of your head, you're not the top. You don't want to send your head back. My eyes are closed because I got the sun straight in them now. <laughs> so inhale, exhale your knee to one side and just leave them there. Maybe your gaze goes in the opposite way. Maybe your opposite arm reaches. See how that feel if it adds a little bit to the hips, to the side. And I'm going to hold my hip with the opposite hand. And I'm going to, as I bring my shoulder, I keep my shoulder on the mat. I'm going to lift that hip gently. Very gently as I press my knee towards the ground. Very small movement. See what moves. If nothing moves, leave it alone. Inhale, knees straight back up. And let's exhale them the other side. Bracing yourself on the opposite way. I take my lower arm and I bring it towards my hip gently. Inhale the hip forward, dragging the knee gently down. Stop. Maybe looking away at your opposite fingertips. Inhale the knee back up. I love the breeze at this time of the year. Isn't that awesome? And exhale, knee to chest. Maybe a little circle with your sacrum. That little flat, flattish, roundish bone that's by your by your tailbone here, right above. A little circle if it feels good. Maybe rolling back and forth. See how that feels like. And while doing that, let's just bring our arms in, grab our ankle. And we're already in happy baby. Maybe you want to grab your big toe, your foot, your ankle. And let's bring our, our knee towards our armpit and our feet away from each other. And we're not yanking nothing ever ever. We're just gently guiding and see if it wants to go there. And we're going to listen to our body. The body said no. No means no. We don't go there. So very gentle movement, but we can be very creative. There's lots of room for movement. Just do them slow. Be very mindful. Maybe moving your neck side to side. You can roll back again. If you do so, be careful. Your neck, of course. And just have fun here. Make sound. Have fun with your baby. Maybe turning until your foot reach the ground and then the other side you can make it a little game or you can just stay put in your happy baby and just enjoying just enjoying it and wherever you're at let's come still and exhale our feet towards each other and the outskirts of our feet into the ground Inhaling a little land, pressing our feet away from our body for a little elongate diamond shape here. Let the, the knee go down without pushing, without forcing. Let gravity just bring your knees down. And let's nail the fingertip away from the shoulder. Now you can stay exactly like this for Shavasana. Or you can go get a blanket, a pillow, a little eye mask, eye weight are lovely too on the uh, eyelid and anything you need right now you can even lay down on your couch or sit down with your back supported it's nice having the back against like the couch or the wall so I'm only sitting down because when I'm laying down I don't think you can hear me as well uh, in Shavasana, and if I'm laying down, I may start like getting my own self a little bit too relaxed, and I uh, may be whew, somewhere else up there. So uh, I'm gonna sit down. If you choose sit down, just sit in any comfy uh, position uh, that that is that's offered to you. 
So if it is comfortable for you to close your eyes, I would love to invite you to do that. Otherwise, maybe keeping a soft gaze. Whoops, everything's falling today. Beautiful day though. So just breathe. If possible, breathing in and out of the nose. And just paying attention to the path your inhale and exhale are making. You can bring your hands to your chest and one to your belly or middle, middle belly. And you can observe the movement with your hand without having to think about it. You can acknowledge them just, just sensing what's happening without thinking too long. Now, we're going to an imagery. So, and if you don't like imagery, you can tune me off or turn this off. And know that at any time you have the option to open your eyes. Open your eyes. If something's weird for you, open your eyes. So, let's find ourselves on a long white beach. You have your own. We all have our own private, long, wide, beautiful beach. It's the most beautiful beach you have ever seen. And it's all yours for the next few minutes to enjoy on this imagery, imagery mini vacation. So look around you. Picture everything beautiful that you adore in place. And let's slowly start walking in the sand, dragging the top of our toes in the sand as we feel, as our foot sinks down. So with each step, the top of our toes drag the sand, making, making little toe trail before lifting and sinking the foot into the sand. And in this fashion, very slowly, enjoying the warmth of the sand, the little exfoliation from the sand. The sand is warm, it's lovely, it's dry. There is a lovely breeze coming at you. You're approaching the sand that is wet by the surfs. You step gently into the wet sand. It feels soft as your foot sinks into it and cool. The sand is coolish and you start walking as your feet sink like it would into clay. The wet sand grabs and wraps around your foot. You start dragging your toes again, making this design. Walking towards the water. A little bit of the surf catches your toe washing the sands away. The water is cool and lovely. The breeze is warm. The sun feels warm. You gently inhale and exhale, lowering your finger as slow as you can towards the water. And maybe over them above, or letting just the tip of your fingers caressing the water as the water loving you back have maybe waves falling into your finger, between your fingers, into your hand. You lower your finger a little more as you bend your knee and scooch down, touching the water, seeing its texture, feeling Feeling the texture, the coolness, slowly weaving your hands into the water with 
with the ocean. Feeling part of this extraordinary, huge, huge mass of water. You stand up, looking around you, seeing how vast what you can see can be an ocean that look like no end and you are part right now of this ocean the sea is quiet and relaxed just like you start bringing your attention to your breath Inhaling in, exhaling out through the nose if possible. Maybe bringing your knees to your chest, giving them a big hug. Taking any little movement that speaks to you right now. It could be moving your head side to side. Wiggling your toes, your fingertips. Rotating your wrist, ankle, maybe yawning your feet and your fingertips away from you. I would like to invite you to turn to your right side if it is, if your body likes it like that. If not, skip it. And just stay there for a few breaths before very slowly sitting with me. Or you can just stay where you are laying down. And first, I would like to thank you for watching my videos or being there for the live, uh, the live recording. So that's always cool when, when you're here with me at the same time too. And um, I have a little quote for you today. It is from uh, Joanne Raptis. And regarding we were doing the tree pose and and it is called be like a tree so you be like a tree stay grounded connect to your roots turn over a new leaf bend before you break and enjoy your natural beauty your unique natural beauty and keep on growing Again, thank you and namaste.